we had discussed in writing, I told you about drafting an invitation, right? And in the case, drafting an invitation for a formal event. Do you remember? Do you remember that? Yes, you can look at your notebooks and how we had made that invitation as I told you, we can send it as a card, right? And it can go as a letter, okay? Now, as a card, it can be for many and it can be for an individual as a Okay. Is it was this clear to you all? Was this clear to you all? Now, when I send an invitation to one person, like of course uh, there's an annual function, and uh, yes, yeah, so all the preparations are done, and we have to send out the invitations, and you want to invite the chief guest. Okay. Right, for that purpose, when you invite a chief guest, his invitation is going to be for one person individually. What is the format of that invitation? Okay, are you listening to me? Give me yes or no. Can you hear me? Are you listening? Of course you can hear me, whether you are really attentive or not. Okay, that's nice, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, great. Great, yeah, okay, Tushar, Mohe, Rakriti, Pratham. And Pratham has joined us after many, many days today, isn't it? With it also, okay, fine. So thank you all, right? So this was one aspect that I had taught you, right? How we made that invitation. We did that invitation on behalf of the principal, invitation for the parents, right? Now we are going to make an invitation for one individual that is a chief guest. So you might get a question, the draft uh, an invitation inviting, say, Mr. ABC, the chief guest of the inaugural ceremony of a literary club or for the price distribution function of the sports functions, so any event, it could be a formal gathering where we want to invite the chief guest. Okay. Is it clear? Now here, yeah, as I said, that invitation can be in the form of a card like this. So we're all, it was principal, staff, student, and also instead, all right, so we write, invite the gracious presence of, write the name of the chief guest on the occasion of, or you can say, this, 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 right? That is one way you can write. Now the second way, where you can write an invitation, Inviting the chief guest is in the form of a letter. Right? So, as a formal letter, we can send an invitation to a chief guest. Okay? Right? Once again, the content is going to be very brief. You have a limited content to write. So, what are we going to write here? Yes, we have. What is the format? letter, the sender's address, right? You have the date, the receiver, yeah, your subject, you have your citation, then you have your content, and then you have your close. So do you remember this is the format of a formal letter? Do you remember this? Please note this down. Now for, have you noted it? Right, fast please. Now what we are going to do, we are going to draft an invitation, a formal invitation, inviting a dignitary as the chief guest for annual function, for price distribution function, for sports meet, for any inaugural ceremony. Okay, right? So please note down, do you remember this? Do you remember the format of a formal invitation? Yes, you do. Okay, can I write this? Erase it. Now, for a formal invitation, when you invite one person as a chief guest, it is or it can be written in the form of a formal letter. Now, let's see what is it going to be like. Okay, so who is the sender? Who 
Sibling Grove or Pine Grove Public School. Right? It uh, could be Ambala. Leave the line, I will paint 15, Jan, 20, 22. Can you see the blackboard? Is it visible? Yes. Hey. We write what is it? Then comes the receiver address. Who's the receiver? It could be your chief guest here, right? And the name, uh, address of the chief guest, okay? So it could be three, one, two, say, receiver lines. Done. Okay? Right? Then, what is it? The subject. To honor as chief guest, isn't it right? Or yes, or, or right uh, as a limited as a chief guest for crisis function, anything can write down. Then yes, because it's a very formal letter, respecting sir. You write down. Are you noting down? Yes. Are we noting it down? Right. So you would have to say it is with great honor in the introduction that I write the principal name the name of the institution. Okay, right? Would feel honored to extend an invitation to third person to extend an invitation to Mr. Right? Okay, in the designation, so it uh, would be like, uh, yes, and uh, right, let's Mr. X, Y, Z, what is his uh, designation, right, so T, F, I, S, what, right, okay, to beside us, chief guest, On the occasion of say twenty six annual function, I'm giving you the template. I'm just giving you a rough idea, right? On say twenty uh, Jan at eleven a.m. Right? Can you see the board? Is it visible? I'll just uh, give it, uh, give this, take a look at it, please. Right? Now here, once again, when you notice your invitation as a card and you notice your invitation as a letter, the content is almost similar. What is it? How you are writing it? You write this as a letter. Right? So, yes. So, you give the principle of, right? Yes, so here we have, find go for public school. Would you feel honored to extend the invitation to Mr. XYZ, so the DM, whatever the designation, to preside as chief guest on the occasion of 26th annual function on 29th March, right? Yes. Then here we are sending an invite. We are sending an invitation. And we don't know whether he will accept or not. But right, we need to send invitation. And then how are we going to get it? Right? So how are we going to feel? Yes? 
right? We are so of course we want a response also. How do we get into a over here? Do you think standing over here? Or looking for a favorable or you can say a positive response. Okay, right? Or it would be, it would be a blind if we would consent. Okay, right? Then what are you going to write now? Yes, so on a course here. Yeah. So yours truly, sincerely, faithfully, write down ABC principle. The designation has to be there. Have you understood this? Is it clear? Once again, let's have a look. Right? Now for the I want to write one person. Naturally, I'm extending this invitation as the chief guest, as the guest of honor, right? So for one particular individual, I am not sending out a card, I am sending out this letter. Even that is also acceptable that we have discussed. This is another way here we want to invite as a chief guest. So if you just forget how to write, what am I supposed to write? What is a letter to invite uh, this person as a chief guest? What am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? You are going to write a formal letter. What is the format? You all know this is the format. Okay? Content me. Content is the same as the invitation. You have the name of the host. You have the name of the guest. You have the location, date, time, venue. Okay? Right? So all this here, and then in the end, hoping to you know, like get a favorable response, hoping for a positive response, or we will be highly obliged if you would consent, right, to preside over this function, to be a part of the function. Or yes, you will be feel, you would feel honored with your presence. There are so many ways in which you can show your gratitude. You can show your thanks. Is this clear? Is this clear? Can you write it down? Yes, come on, let me ask you a quick a few questions. Yes, what are we writing today? What are we discussing today? Please uh, raise your hand and give me the answer. What are we writing? When are we going to write this invitation? When are we going to write this invitation? Who's going to tell me? We write this. This is an invitation, but this is in the form of a lecture. Okay? This is a formal invitation. It's a formal invite to whom? To our chief guest. Okay, right? And we are inviting them. And this is the way we are going to write the letter. But you leave a letter. Come on, all of you. Write down. Write down the letter. Yes. Can I see a notebook? Can I see a notebook, please? Would you like to show me? At least I know that people are writing. And as I've told you earlier also, I want you to maintain a separate notebook where you have the English writing skills, you have the questions, and you write down the answers over there. So in one place, you have all the formats. Okay? Right? Clear? Yes? So this is what you are supposed to write. Am I clear? No doubt, please no doubt. This is just a template. This is just an idea. And of course, here, the location will change, the name will change, and how you might write it. Okay? Yes? Fine. Subject, yes, to honor as the chief guest or inviting as a chief guest, invitation as the chief guest, whatever you want to write it is appropriate. And of course, naturally, as it is, you people are much uh, smarter. You people know 
what to write. So you can always write it in that. This is just a brief idea. I'm writing this for you so you have at least one sample response so that you can use it for your further references. Have you noted this down? Is it done? Can I erase the blackboard? Tell me yes or no. Can I erase it? Let us try this formal invitation as a card person. Yes, we might be one person as a chief guest. Now we're going to write it as a card. Clear? Now see, invitation writing is not a small thing. I think there are six components of writing an invitation. Okay, right? So one is you have to learn how to draft the invitation. What is drafting an invitation? How you write it now? This is for drafting it, okay? Right? Then we are here talking about here as inviting someone as the chief guest. This letter is inviting someone as the chief guest. Okay? Rika, right. Then we will reply to the letter also. Now, as the chief guest, we're going to reply also. Have I accepted it? Have I declined it? What is declined? What does declined mean? Yes. What does declined mean? To say no, to refuse. Okay. So we will be doing that also. And uh, as it is, because this is what our social etiquette demand. If someone has an uh, you know, extended an invitation to us, and that is such a big honor you're getting as the chief guest. So it is uh, very important that, that we respond to it. We have to reply. So you tell well in advance. That is why we send the invitation well in advance. We still have time that if we have to make any alternate arrangements, what can be done? This is drafting an invitation. Can I raise this? Can I raise it? Yes. Lagan, Ankit, Abhishek, Ya, Nisha, have you all noted? Richika, Malik, Bhavni, Varun, Nishar, Bansi, Ajay, all your names. Have you all noted now? Yes. Okay, so good. Thank you for noting it now. Thank you, member. This is a, what? An idea. Okay, now, want to extend an invitation and the, the question is there in the exam that the draft uh, an invitation inviting Mr. ABC as the chief guest for the inauguration of a science club or a new computer lab in your school. And you keep on thinking, oh, I have never an invitation to something that you put in a box like that. Okay. Right? So what are we going to do? We are now, of course, if you thought about putting it in a box, let us put that in a box. So this is the second way of writing. Okay? That was the first one. This is the second one. Both ways are acceptable. So once again, how will it be? Right? What do we remember the format of invitation? The principal, staff, and students of say Pine Grove Public School, Ambala. Yes, Cordy invite right to say Mr. Ravi Shankar. Okay, to be the civil surgeon. Right? What do you invite Mr. Vishwanda to honor as chief guest and recite over 
take uh, what was it? No, it was not any function and on the of uh, science lab on this right okay fine i'll write the date also so let me put the this date time jan at 11 a m right clear nothing else we're not talking about what time it is and because it's a chief case and Right. So, what is going to be here? R S V P. It can be the name of the chairman with the contact. Okay. A is that with the principal. Okay. So nine nine one. Clear. Right. So, what is it? This is right. The other notations you have done for common functions, but what is it? This is for one individual. I have the name to honor as chief guest on the occasion of, and as I said, you can use different fonts. You can use different kinds of writing to make it more, you know, like of course, I, I was a little worried about how much space I would occupy and see your visibility. Okay. And please, here uh, remember when you write an invitation here, it should not be one paragraph. Make it here uh, as it's just like one long sentence, and you can you write it in a what a kind of a way, curly kind of a way here, yeah, not necessarily all together on one side. Okay, fine. So we what have we discussed today? Two things we have discussed. What are they? One is How to write a formal invitation as a letter, right? Inviting a person as a chief guest. Second, how we write a formal invitation as a card. Okay, right? Is this clear to you all? Hope you will not have any doubts regarding it. You will not have any problems regarding it. You want to note this down? Please note it down. 